you ever wonder what is the best move to make? What's the best choice to make for life, business, or your next decision? I'm Dom Jackson with Everybody Media, and this is my daily vlog where I document the process of me building my agency, day by day media. And the past couple episodes or past couple videos, I was debating what to do next for my agency content wise. And I kind of went through the principles of what I what I what I want and what I'm trying to do initially is through my own mind, so I know where to go next. And this this I'm showing you guys this first of all for this uh anybody watching this that is watching this like you know you're going through your process of trying to figure out where you're gonna go you're in your 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 stage where you're still like getting you're still in the stage where you're still getting things going you don't really know where you're at and you know you got it you're, you're confused but you're doing it but you're not there yet hopefully my process will help you out with that and then two like i'll have my process on wax for myself when i go back and i have like oh i don't know what to do next again because you know it comes with the culture of being like i don't know where i am uncomfortable a lot of that all these things all over again but no matter what you're going to come back to base so the reason i even chose to get started business was because you know all things that are great the biggest reason i want to do it is because it's the ultimate strategy game of life like it's the hardest game to play and you can play it for you know longer than athletes play their sports and it's the highest risk, highest reward, and the best chance to win. So, like, the ability to play, like, I was a gamer a lot as a kid, you know, a lot of Pokemon, a lot of Dragon Ball Z, Street Fighter, just, like, like to play a lot of games. And then, you know, as I got older, I did more things. But business is a game that it's hard, but I'm going to win it, and I'm going to win it. You know, one of my friends always told me that. She was like, you know, when you got to give up your old life when you get to entrepreneurship. And I was like, I always understood it and heard it, but like seeing it and being in it now, it's like, oh yeah, you can't be in half in, half out. And I'm more in, but I'm like, I got to be more and more in. And that's good because, you know, I had to reiterate that, do it. So I went through the reasons of my thought process why I haven't got to this scenario in the first place, starting with why I even started to run a business, which was, which is why is because, you know, it's the hardest game. I want to do it. You know, obviously the wealth opportunities, obviously the growth opportunities. It's one of the hardest spots to be. I switched the camera just so you can see me doing this. Cause, you know, being in the editing space, even though I don't super produce these, I like having at least a little bit of a, a back and forth so you get to see the different levels of retention that go through the video. But um, yeah, it's a fun game I want to play and I want to win. And like, that's just it. Like it's, it's the game I want to play in. So I'm going all in and I'm coming in to win. And the reason I started an agency was because, you know, most people's first businesses fail. And not that I, I want to win, you know what I mean? I don't plan on failing, but I also understand, like, the game is the game. And if you're playing it for life, like, it matters and doesn't matter at the same time. And marketing is one of the core components to every single business that exists. So, you know, whatever it is that you have to market, you have to find customers, you have to get customers. And I chose to start an agency because I was going to make content at the same time. And I'm going to be in business for life. If my first business is something that is finding customers for business, then like that skill is going to have, I'm going to develop that skill no matter what, doing that forever, you know, and finding ways to refine it and grow each time. So it was just cool to remind myself of that. Plus, as I do more things, I'll be able to understand how to get more customers for other businesses if I buy them or invest in them. Whatever that process is like, I now have that framework in my head mentally, which is why I wanted to go into the B2B space. So that's where it went through. Now, what the issue I was having before was that I didn't have, I didn't know if I was going about things strategic enough because I was going and everything. All right, I just made decisions based on what I did before, which is great. I was the speed of making decisions is always going to be a win. I just didn't know if I was doing enough thinking again from the next decision. How much of it was just like me going just off what I thought was correct without reassessing and seeing where things are. And I guess that's a big debate between being like, you know, a bigger business would just be like, yo, you know, they have things they check and they still make decisions fast. But like being a startup and a solopreneur right now, it's like, yo, if I just feel something, I'm just going to do it because I'm like, well, this is it. And for right now, I'm still rocking with it. I'm just going to do it. This is it because if I'm wrong for a year, like you, you're only wrong, you're wrong to your right. And that's like, it doesn't change. I'm still by myself, you know, when I have a team and like people living off me, it's still going to be, the game will be just as hard it's going to be more at stake. Right now, it's just, I'm only at stake. And I'm like, well, I signed up for this. So that's cool. Now, the current problems that I'm facing now is that I don't have a specific, my offer's not really specific enough. So even with the targeting that I'm doing outreach-wise, it's like very, it's like, it works, but it's kind of loose. You know, I'm, I'll do a video offer, this much editing, by the da testimonial, and the this to that. Or you get the YouTube guy to YouTube consulting kind of thing. And, um, 
it would be better if I knew more of what to go after. At the same time, because I've tasted enough things just going after stuff, I have a better idea. So it's one of those things where I have, I could probably reflect more, maybe like once or twice a week to reflect and see like what things, what place I want to go. But still going is still the the main answer. You know what I mean? It's keep going, keep moving forward. And, you know, I thought about taking the whole week off last video or two videos ago to reassess everything. But like, nah, bro, just keep, just keep going. Just keep going. It's the best, it's the best choice to do because I'm not going to lose the momentum. And, but it did may remind me of why I need to be, but there's, it's like, I do need to reassess things a little bit more than I do now, or at least have more of a game plan. That's what I did today. So, you know, my apps aren't specific enough and I don't know exactly how to find them, which means I have to invest an extra bit of time doing more market research and learning more about the people that I have worked with and work with more people. So I'm like, all right, this works more. Consistently, it's reoccurring. Like I said, I had some clients in the past and I had a, uh, and like the conversation that the guy did uh, last week, or two weeks ago, uh, he kind of fit the mold as well, you know, and that kind of brought me to my next set of things of knowing uh, my next thought process of, you know, what people are, what I would work with. So I have a lead issue, obviously, and you know, I have an offer ish issue, like a basic video editing is what I'm doing. And before I was like, all right, cool, I can do specific, specific type of things. So I worked on YouTube videos before. I'm a YouTube video editor and YouTube video editor that saves you time instead of doing another video. Cause like each, when you make the offer, there's more parts to it. So like I use Hermosi's framework, you know, I help ideal customer oh, right here. I help ideal customer dream, get dream outcome in a period of time without effort and sacrifice if we perceive likelihood of achievement. And I didn't really have that down pat because I was trying to go so hard in the YouTube marketing thing. But if I'm just an editor, I'm just going to keep double down on editor for right now and rock out on there because that's where I have the most skill set. And even if I build up an editing bit book and have a little editing team, I can rock with that and then adjust the pivot to everything else. So that way I'm just like a creation thing in the meantime as I work on the marketing skills, building up the creation team. And that way it's just like, you know, nothing really, I'm still doing the same thing. I just reframe what the end goal is. Cause I still want to do B2B long-term. Cause B2B I think is the best spot to be. Cause even the people that I have doing, clients have doing stuff content wise now can be more consistent. They need to get more consistent, but it's just like, they don't have the same incentive as someone who does, does it for business does point taken you know so the uh and i went through like my skill set that i have you know editing sales outreach space the three things that i do right now that's that's it so like i can just rock and roll on that and then even if i'm funneling people into another editor i can rock and roll now like there's more things to do it's just like it's just more more violent volume of getting people's attention and hitting them up so they become customers so the 100 day outreach thing still 100 percent or a thousand a week definitely still the protocol like it doesn't change uh i might do hitting up i might hit up some other energy i might hit up some other agencies too though as part of the outreach to see if i can get some some of the extra stuff because agencies can't always take on all the work to get anyway so hitting up agencies for either ideas on you know tips from people that started them or hitting them up for leads just having that relationship with someone who has an agency might be a great spot for me to be too so and i'm ready to do outreach anyway whether for customers for you know i guess that'd be kind of like a It'd be a customer too, or a referral affiliate. That whole process again, just going out there and getting contact with more people. Thousand people a week, you're in a whole different position each week, and you would get so many, so much better at each skill. You get so much better at how to communicate, how to effectively deliver something, pitch it. You know, just have like the back of your hand. So, hundred percent in on that. Um, so currently, I'm thinking my current process or offer is, hey, you know, I help video podcasts or YouTubers because I thought the video podcast thing would be a better need for me to go into and it can, it can still be but I, if i'm doing youtube people as a whole i can do either one you know hey i help you do x save you time and you don't have to worry about editing and you'll get more time working your business so like i'm helping people i help business owners on youtube grow their youtube channel for their business with you know x amount of time without having to worry about editing videos 
so they can focus on growing their business. Something like that, you know? That's just the main version of that right now. Just video editor. Like, not just, but like video editing, me, solopreneur, freelancer. That's it. YouTube guy in the back end. And that just means keep doing what I'm doing, but like upping the volume so I can get more stuff coming in uh, lead-wise, which is cool. And having the... Uh, so, so basically the thought process was, you know, seeing what the problems I was having before and realizing like, I can just keep doing this, like keep doing it, keep working. Cool. Like I don't have to be as super detailed on where I'm going next because I'm not at that point yet. Like I don't have enough data, but tracking more of my data, like how long my average customer stays on, you know, how I get them, what their problems are. That's the thing I need to be doing better, a better job at, which is more high level stuff I need to be doing. Which is good because like that whole little uh thing I had was like, hey, make sure you understand where your clients are coming from, what things they're doing and have it tracked. So it's not just, you know, me knowing this. I can tell someone else this thing, having the SOPs for me to have in the future. So I'm glad I have a little like a uh, moment because that will see make that will help me have data for my decisions in the future. For right now, rock and roll the game I'm playing and just double down on it. More outreach more editing clients and just become a, the best editor that I can edit the most stuff that I can so that I can just rock this way. Now, the next thing that I want to do, the next pivot that I want to go into as far as like more long-term, which also helped me out with a little hiccup ish, just like new train of thought, uh, going in and how I would pitch my service to someone who's B2B, even the content that I make. So I'm going on LinkedIn making content as opposed to going, oh, you know, this is how you edit your videos. This is how you, this is how you edit your videos successfully, which is cool. And I probably could do that too. But the end goal that I want to do is this is how you, how to get warm, how to get, I was watching a video, excuse me. I was watching a video of someone else who uh, who has sales video pages. It's like how to sell. He's, he's like, his thing is like how to sell, how to make videos that sell for you so you don't have to have a sales team. Something along those lines. Like you go on his website, his video, the prices are already in front of you. He explains the prices. He has a video explaining the whole thing, how long it takes. They look at your thing. He helps up with the content online on LinkedIn. And then you go to his page and he has a sales page and the sales videos telling you what he does and his prices. So like, it was cool, but enough that he under like the, the offer made sense though. So like, you don't have to have a sales page that sales, have a video sales page that sells for you. So you can save time that happening. It like, made sense. It was simple enough. I got it. Now I don't want to do that. Cause that's not what I'm going to do, but video aspect is still important. So I'm thinking about going along lines, B2B, how to create, how to, I help you with your YouTube channel. So sell a selling YouTube channel. So and like a, my YouTube, I help you get warm leads on YouTube with a YouTube channel to sell so you don't have to for service-based businesses. Because a lot of service-based businesses have to. A lot more education they go before someone trusts you enough to buy. And that selling process takes a little bit. And if you can nurture someone through YouTube, so by the time they get to you, it's already hot, you know. And how about the process of helping you figure out what episodes to do uh, content-wise, helping you with the SEO, helping you with the videos, helping you with the understanding of the strategy, whether it's do it, do it yourself or do it for you. And I guess I'm going to do it for you, my high ticket one. I can rock out with that or do consult it with, do it with you or, or consult and have groups do the, do it for you one. It's just like playing with which one works best. But that's like, that's, oh, my phone fell. that's past where I am. That's like later on stuff, which, you know, like I needed to get that thought process. At least I know where to go there. Uh, so that's like where I'm thinking it's going to go. That's kind of where I started with originally. I just had, you know, things happen and you think about these different ways and like, ah, it's cool. So regardless, um, that's where I'm at. You know, things didn't really change too much. Just had a little like, and just had to think about what I have enough strategy with. And the end result from all this, this little like mental hiccup was one track more data of what I'm doing so I have more decisions to make, you know, maybe a quarter where I'm getting most leads from, who's coming in, you know, how much they're buying, what it looks like, how I'm getting my acquisition process. Then two, 
uh, what the strategy is for the business long term. So if I'm a, you know, help you get warm leads from warm leads selling through YouTube for a service based business doing X amount of money. So you don't got this much time. That's like where it's at right now. Even right now, I'm kind of doing the business right now because like I'm putting out content for the business. So you, I'm like selling people right now, but it doesn't exist yet. I'm like making it, but the content document over create. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, for you, for you guys, anybody watching out there, thanks so much for watching. Drop a comment below if you have a service-based business or are, if you have a service-based business, drop a comment below. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, take it one step at a time. You'll get there day by day.